Hello YouTube and people of the interwebs, welcome back to today's video, which is something a little different and if you told me that I'd be making this video a week ago, I'd have gone, you're insane. But no, we're here in lockdown, well at least if you're in the UK, I'm not too sure about those countries outside of the UK. I think most of you are in lockdown watching this video because, you know, coronavirus is everywhere. We're almost at, well, they estimate like two months till the peak of it anyway. So today I'm going to be giving you five Doctor Who, uh, uh, ten fingers, five Doctor Who universe things that you should watch or rewatch while you're locked in your house. Now, there is no classic Who on this list, simply because I don't think I can judge enough of it, because I haven't seen most of it. Well, I've seen a lot of it, but not all of it. So, I've left classic Who off this list. This is focusing from 2005 onwards. Let's go! Also, I'd like to mention that the five things I'm going to say are in no particular order. They're just five things that I think, yeah, you know, that's a really good idea to rewatch, and I have started and will continue to finish rewatching over the coming weeks. So, first one, possibly slightly controversial. In fact, it was already technically a bit of it was already done. You know what's coming. The Day of the Doctor and that whole arc. So, rather than just individual episodes, I'm going to suggest you watch... Name of the Doctor, the Series 7B finale, then Day of the Doctor. If you want, in the middle, you can include Night of the Doctor, the Paul McGann mini-episode, which is absolutely brilliant, although it's only like six minutes. It's so good. And then finally, Time of the Doctor, the Matt Smith Christmas special where he regenerates. Finish it off with that, and if you really want, go on to Deep Breath, because, I mean, it is one continuous story, and Deep Breath is really quite a good episode. So, yeah, I'm going to go say all the time, name, day, night, everything of The Doctor. The Doctor Chronicles. So, next thing I'm going to suggest isn't actually Doctor Who, but it's same universe, same-ish characters. Torchwood, not... Well, I would suggest all of Torchwood, but I've narrowed it down to simply Torchwood Children of Earth, Series 3. And yeah, I'm going to review this on the channel at some point, but it is genuinely one of the best series of anything I've ever watched, ever. The emotions, the impact, the characters, everything about it is absolutely brilliant. And the final episode is one of the best payoffs to anything ever. It is so good, so gripping, so emotional, the characters... Literally everything about it. I don't want to spoil it for you, but the moral dilemmas, the ethics, and how you'd respond to the situation, it's so good. So yeah, I recommend you watch Torchwood Children of Earth or Torchwood Series 3. It's one big continuous story, and it is very good. Now, moving to the next one. Once again, this pick might be somewhat controversial, because if you look at the comments section for any of my Timeless Children videos... People aren't happy with it, but I'm going to suggest Series 12's Episode 5, Episode 8, Episode 9, and Episode 10. That being Fugitive of the Jadoon, The Haunting of Villa Diodati, The Ascension of the Cybermen, and The Timeless Children. Four absolutely brilliant Doctor Who episodes, which are all very arc-heavy, building to a massive final conclusion. If you want, you can throw in Spyfall at the start, but you don't have to. Building to a massive conclusion, which is one of the most controversial, if not the most controversial Doctor Who episode ever. I personally love it. Yes, some of the decisions made in it aren't necessarily needed, but I think it plays them really well. So I'm going to recommend a chunk of Series 12, because there are fluff episodes like Praxeus, which you don't really need to include in this rewatch. You can if you want, but Fugitive of the Jadoon to Timeless Children, those five episodes, phenomenal. Now, another big Doctor Who three-part long story arc thingy. I'm going to go all the way back to 2007, the David Tennant era, the final three episodes of Series 3, Utopia, The Sound of Drums, and The Last of the Time Lords, the reintroduction of the Master into New Who. Spoilers. But, yeah, these three episodes, once again, brilliant. The Master, like John Sim, and partially tiny little bit Derek Jacobi, 
brilliant performance from them. David Tennant, I think, is at one of his best points as the Doctor in these two episodes. Martha, who I don't usually warm to as a companion, she's done really well, and her family, like, her dad, I think, does, like, he's really a good character. Her mum is intentionally a not very nice person, and it all wraps up really nicely, and Captain Jack's in it. The, you can't go wrong with Captain Jack. He's absolutely brilliant, and then the ending, um, yeah, it might be a slight cop-out, but... The build-up is where Russell T Davies always is like really strong, and the build-up through those episodes is brilliant. So, yeah, Series 3, the final three episodes. Now, at the number one space, yes, this isn't a ranking list, but this one is just god-level. I'm going to go with the pilot. All of Series 10. Well, no, but, yeah, actually, you know what? Just watch all of Series 10. Series 10 with Peter Capaldi is absolutely brilliant. It is so good. Just watch series 10. Done. Done. In all seriousness, though, I'd say watch The Pilot, World Enough and Time, and The Doctor Falls. Those three episodes, while there are a bunch missing in between The Pilot and the finale, it still works, and you have the introduction of Heather, who then, spoilers, gets brought back. Brilliant. So, yeah, I suggest... Those three episodes of series 10, Peter Capaldi's final series, Cybermen, Two Masters, and Daleks. In fact, if you watch those episodes, you get brief glimpse, 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 get brief glimpse of Movellans, Daleks, Cybermen, three types of Cybermen, The Master, Missy, anyone else? Heather, but no one really cares about her to that extent. But yeah, anyway, th th genuinely brilliant stories. And technically, once again, you could carry on from the end of The Doctor Falls, Twice Upon a Time, then The Woman Who Fell to Earth, then The Ghost Monument, then I think Rosa, because they are all continuously directly after one another, which, you know, that's what's great about the Hooniverse. Anyway, that does bring us to the end of today's quick little short quarantine lockdown video thing. If you did enjoy, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Please comment suggestions for what I should watch in quarantine. I've got a ton of time. I've just finished Broadchurch and I thought it was once again amazing. Chibnall, like, I don't know why he couldn't write that well for Summer Doctor Who. Like, yeah, he's succeeded in parts, but Broadchurch is almost flawless. So, yeah, suggest things for me to watch. And if you want me to review things, it doesn't have to be Doctor Who. Comment that down below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill and goodbye.